All right, guys, we were talking to skaters all over the world about what the biggest problem was. One of the big things that came up was shoes. Skaters, by just their natural build, they're kind of like shoe freaks because not every skater like collects shoes, but every skater is very intimately involved with their shoes no matter what they say because their shoes directly hit the board and as you know skateboarding if done correctly puts holes in the shoes so i wanted to make this video called how to make your shoes last forever when you get the shoe it looks like this nice and um, nothing wrong there as you know i talk a lot about suede shoes because the suede does grip the actual grip tape very good and that's that's very nice so i think that is a very big plus point having suede now the problem with suede is that it does wear a hole and not that much time if you're skating really hard you will get a hole quite fast a couple of years ago i stumbled upon this thing called trick tape it is a little patch that you put over the hole back in my day like way 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 long ago we didn't even have shoes and dinosaurs roamed the earth closer to present time we um, used shoe goo i don't know if you guys know about shoe goo i did make a video with shoe goo before so shoe goo is just this goo right and you can get it on amazon and you just like push it out of this tube and put it on there and it kind of creates this like gooey thing on your shoe. There's a couple problems with it. It's very messy, it's very hard to apply. It takes a long time to dry. Usually you have to let it dry overnight. It just looks kind of nasty. I think the worst problem with it is that it does look kind of nasty. I'm gonna demonstrate in this video the future of how to make your shoes last forever, trick tape. <laughs> So the idea here is, look, I, I skated these shoes. I'm just barely putting a hole there. Now the hole is not all the way through. Like if I had my foot in there, you could not see my toe. <laughs> so this is about the perfect spot to apply the trick tape. Okay, so here's the deal. You wanna take this patch right here and you wanna put it just around that hole. So you don't wanna have like this huge patch that then can kinda of come off. And the whole idea that we're coming at here is all future damage is going to be to this patch, not to your shoe. So you can literally just have the uh, patches, you can just change them out as you need. So I'm just gonna put that circle right over that hole right there and then it's gonna really help these shoes last a lot longer. Video title, how to make your shoes last forever is not completely accurate because you could just wear through the bottoms of your shoe. And obviously putting this on the bottom of your shoe isn't gonna help. But for the top of your shoe, it's awesome. The other thing that's cool, like I mentioned before, is like suede is really good. It really grips the board well. So this is synthetic suede material and it's actually recycled. So you're not like hurting or harming the environment, but your shoes are gonna last a lot longer than they would normally. Bada boom, bada bing. Instead of a nasty hole, I just have a beautiful little circle patch. It almost even looks like part of the shoe. So from this point, I would just skate, 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 skate. And then when I put a hole in that patch, well, guess what? I'm just gonna cut out another one and re-patch it up. So you see how I could skate this, put a hole in it, get a new one, slap it on, get a new one, slap it on. And this part of the shoe lasts a lot longer than this part. Like the main problem here with skating is that you're putting holes up here, right? Got a, like just a tiny little hole there on my kickflip. See if I can put a patch up on that. Whenever there's like a new company that makes something related to skateboarding that I think helps to solve a problem, I think it's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this on there. And again, the synthetic suede. You're still gonna get that suede flick. Oh, that's the other problem with the shoe goo. You could like rough up the shoe goo, but when you first put it on, it's almost like glazes over and it's like a shiny slick thing. I don't like skating leather shoes or even like rubber on the shoes. You can just see the suede, how coarse it is. So you can just imagine that coarse suede rubbing against grip tape, scraping up the board so you're gonna be able to ollie higher, flick better, etc. So you want that coarse suede feel in the shoes. This is like art class. We don't get to do enough art class here and the braille, braille skateboarding. All right, so I've patched up both the ollie hole and the kickflip hole, and we got our little trick patches on there. So now we're gonna do a few tricks, and then, um, yeah, then we're gonna talk more about the trick tape. <whistles> Grip it and rip it.
All right, so we skated quite a bit. I mean, I, I did a few tricks and I didn't land all of those tricks first try. First try! So yeah, as you can see, they actually held up really quite well. I do think I should have made the patches a little larger um, because one thing to think with is like when you're, you're sliding your foot up, you don't want the edge to catch. On this one, I probably should have had it come like up there a little bit higher, maybe to cover this whole like section right here. That way where the board is gonna start hitting the shoes will, will be lower and not on the edge. But yeah, even even with that, look, that like really held up really, really quite well. That's incredible. So I could skate this for a week and then slap on a new patch and then just keep going like that. Patch and patch and patch and patch and patch. And until the bottom of the shoes blow out, I think I can just keep rolling with this pair of shoes for a while, right? So yeah, huge thanks to Trick Tape for hooking us up with all these different patches. As you can see, there's different colors because not everybody skates all black shoes all the time like me. Some people, like Lance, they even skate in white shoes. But yeah, so this stuff is rad, trick tape. I do think it's really, really cool and you can just keep on slapping the trick tapes on. Skate, 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 put a new one on. Skate, 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 put a new one on. So you guys can get your own patches at officialtricktape.com or follow them on Instagram at officialtricktape. If you have your local shop and you're like, Guys, I know I spend a lot of money on shoes here every month, but it would be great if you could hook it up with some trick tape, then have them tag and go through the Instagram at official trick tape. So yeah, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, trick tape. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments below or any other particular exact problems that you guys are running into, leave it in the comments below. Gabe and I will go through those. We'll figure out videos to make to help you guys and um, keep you progressing on your boards. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please subscribe, please like, leave a comment below. Click on this playlist right here for all the videos in this series. Click here to get skateboarding made simple. It's the most comprehensive lesson plan ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. Go to braille skateboarding.com. You won't be disappointed.